This is a really exciting E3 for us. We're introducing to the world for the first time Wii U, which is a brand new console for us. And we kept this, the name Wii from our previous console because me and you, social. But we now also have you, meaning we're making the game system for you, the gamer, also for the developer because we're giving them tools they never had before on a Wii or on a Nintendo console to be able to make the kind of in-depth gameplay experiences and use the kind of controls on the new controller that can bring their creative visions to life. Well, when we talk to the masses, it's all about we're going to make games that are fun for you to play. And that's not only us, but our third-party developers and publishers. So if you're just a newcomer to gaming and you want real simple, easy-to-use controls, you have the touch screen and you can use whatever analog stick and buttons on the controller you want to. But if you're into like first-person shooters or action games or platformers and you want more of a robust gameplay experience with more controls and more options, we now have that too. Well, Nintendo always likes to innovate, and we definitely innovated with the Wii by bringing gaming to the masses, by simplifying the controls, and we're going to keep those simplified controls for people that want that. All your old Wii remotes will be backwards compatible, so you can bring those over and use them, all the peripherals like the balance board and the wheel and the zapper, and also the gaming functionality is going to be backward compatible in terms of being able to play those old Wii games. But we're also going to make it easier for people that want to play more in-depth, better in gaming experiences. So it is a little ironic, I guess, that you might have you know, the company's flip-flopping a little bit in terms of their approaches, but we've always been about bringing the gaming to the masses, but we've also tried to cater to the veteran gamers, and we were disappointed that maybe not more of them embraced the Wii as we had hoped, but we're hoping that we listen to them and we're hoping to make the console now that they really do embrace and that they'll want to play. Online gaming is very important to us, and we've heard the demands, really, of, of the veteran gamers that want that. So we're going to be more flexible with gaming this time. When it comes to online, we're going to work with our third-party partners. We're not going to have a centralized, one-size-fits-all type of online gaming approach. It's going to be more of the publishers figuring out what they want to do, and then we'll try and work to bring that to life and make sure our, part, our platform can support that vision. Well, we actually didn't do any live demos during the presentation. We showed it more as conceptual videos to try and let people know, kind of paint a picture of what the system's capable of doing. And then here at the booth, we tried to pick ones that really show the functionality and the motion of the accelerometer and the gyroscope. So it's different things that can kind of just pique people's interest, simple experiences that can give them a taste of what's possible. And then their own minds and the developers' minds can figure out where they take the gaming experience to from next, knowing they have that kind of control and that kind of possibilities to, to work with. We talk more about the experiences in terms of how it makes you feel and how you interact with the gaming experience. We don't get too much into the, the text and specs in terms of what it can do. I know it's 1080p and 1080i in terms of great visuals there, and you got the touch screen there on the new controller. We have announced that there will be flash memory right in the console and the ability to hook up through USB and, and SD cards to get additional memory. We haven't announced how much memory that is yet, though. The Wii U is backward compatible to the Wii, so games that played on the Wii will be able to play on Wii U. We're not going any further back than the Wii. Now, we've been hearing tale over the last couple of days that you can only use one tablet with a console. Is that true? You will not be able to buy extra tablet controllers? Right now, we're just saying that you have the one gaming controller with the screen that is, is working with the, but we're not, we're not discounting that that's not possible for the future, but we're saying one will work for it for sure, and also four Wii remotes, the classic ones that we have right now, can also work with it. So five different controllers can work with it at the same time. Well, we have to make decisions. You know, you only have so much time in a presentation. We just certainly don't want to have people's minds wander. And so you got to make hard choices about what you push front and center. And we did have great developer videos that showed people like Ubisoft talking about what they were excited about with the console. So we, we chose to show those kind of testimonials. And we also showed a sizzle reel that showed a lot of the great concepts of, um, of what was possible. But, you know, Ubi, that was Ubi's roundtable last night. So they got to show what they wanted, and that's what they chose to show. And so we, we support that, and we're excited to have it uh, coming to Wii U. We'll continue to support the Wii. We just actually did a reconfiguration, so it's now at 149 with the Mario Kart packed right in. You got the wheel packed in, and of course you got the Wii remote. We think it's got a good life left to it still. We have announced that Wii U will be coming out in 2012. It won't be in our physical year, which ends on March 31st, so sometime between April 1st and December 31st of 2012, you can expect to see Wii U on store shelves. 
Nintendo 3DS got off to a really great start. There's a lot of anticipation built up. A lot of it came from E3 here last year where people played it for the first time and experienced glasses for E3D and they were really excited about it. We have great content that's going to power us from now through the holidays. So we have Ocarina of Time coming out on June 19th, so just 10 days from now. And then you also have four other great titles coming out this year from Nintendo and Star Fox, Kid Icarus, uh, Mario Kart, and Super Mario. And then next year, we've already announced that Luigi's Mansion is coming. Then you got all the great third-party titles. So we are happy with the initial launch for the system, and we think content is king, and that's what's going to obviously drive any uh, adoption for any handheld or console. And we think we got the content that's going to get us through this year with some, with some good results. The 3D video shop will be coming in the future. We just did a system update where you got the browser and you got the eShop, so you'll be able to download games that way. Excite Byte is now uh, free, and uh, also Pokédex. Um, but you got Netflix coming later this summer, and so you'll see more in, in coming from us in the uh, on the video front. We've got these great tools now to work with in the sense you got Nintendo 3DS, you got the dev kits for Wii U, so you're going to see a lot of creative minds working and figuring out how can I bring my creative vision to life using with these great tools and these great systems Nintendo has brought us. So we're going to continue to push, continue to innovate, and bring new experiences to the gaming public.